What's up, my peoples? Run Rising's on that fly shit. Um, I guess this topic of discussion I'm going to be talking about today is going to be <clears throat> very, um, I guess, heavy philosophical approaches and different um, concepts that I want to just bring up as far as like ideas of self-identification and consciousness and how one relates to their environment that we're all, you know, co-creating together, so to speak. And just to give you an open, more honest approach of my own inner experiences and how I relate to, you know, I'm saying in relation to everything I talk about, all the information I talk about and you and the universe and, you know what I'm saying, a lot of that philosophical cosmo type of shit, you know, but so I like what I do and I do this every day. Like unconsciously I do it. Is that any form of information that I talk about, that I um read about, you know what I'm saying? I automatically in the moment when I'm processing the information weaponize and internalize the information to so I can be able to use that in the practical in the now moment for the purpose and intent and self-improvement and conscious expansion and perception expansion you understand that like no matter what it is and I'm doing what no matter what it is and I'm reading my mind the way I the way I programmed my mind is to like be able to come up with creative ideas on how I can express this information and use it practically on a practical level. So, but before I go forward on my um, iPhone right here, I wanted to show you some of the frequency emissions that that goes into being able to do this. Now, of course, I'm listening to 33 hertz at 100% up to 8.3 hertz. You know, I have that plan. I have the Schumer resin 7.83 hertz plan activating the right hemisphere of my brain as well as 4.5 hertz you know what i'm saying the right hemisphere of my brain now the schumer resonance is to be able to well i'll go into that in a second but 4.5 hertz is the frequency emission that's vital when it comes to remote influencing when it comes to taking your perception being able to connect to what you are or what you identify yourself with. You understand that? I want to go into that real quick. Now, now I know a lot of you identify with being what you were told to be, whether it's a black man, black woman, whatever, human. You know, someone told you that you were these things and you didn't question it. You accepted it. And then you're like, well, shit, if everybody else believed this or they are the same thing, we all look alike, so I must be this too. And, I, I highly doubt that many of you ever went back to the impetus of when someone told you that you were this, you, did, you didn't really question it or ask questions about it. Like, wait, how do you know? You know? Now, for me, now I told you when I was a child, I never, and it's still the same to this day, I never differentiated between what was my dreams and what was reality, so to speak. I saw it all as experience. A conscious experience so i always identified with being consciousness you understand that you may go back to the last little meme or post earlier that i made that was very inspired by a lot of things i'm going to be talking about right now in regards to i don't have i never had the the um the mindset of having the human constitution be placed upon me and I, I never identify it with limitations or restrictions. Therefore, I never identify with being human. A human comprises of limitations of expression of one's being, of one's experience. You only can do a certain amount of things by uh, self-identifying as being human. You understand that? So I never, I never believed that. Where I never believed in limitations and restrictions. So why would I self-identify with something that comprises of limitations and restrictions of one's way of being and experience? You understand that? So I never identified with it. 
So I never bought into that. That programming was never downloaded or self-actualized, so to speak. So from that moment on, I didn't know. I didn't, I went about this is this is something that's totally natural to me. Like I didn't. It wasn't a big deal for me to not identify with that. But it has its advantages, and that thought process, which is in the back of my mind, my entire life, I never really had to even think about it too much to give it that much attention. It was something that was already embedded me, uh, embedded within me, as a self acknowledgement and understanding of what I identify with, being consciousness, so to speak. Well, as a child, I identify with just being what you would consider to be. I guess a god or something. That's where, I, as a child, I didn't have the word consciousness available to me at the time. But now I know and understand me doing this continued everyday work that that's what this is consciousness, what I identify with. And I express myself and I experience that. So, from that as a foundational point for me to do my work, so to speak, as far as in training my brain with specific frequency emissions that constitute being in a state of an altered state of consciousness, right? Or synchronizing the hemispheres of my brain for the purpose of expressing and reconnecting myself to the absolute, to the all, which is what I am. And being able to take that and come up with creative ideas and be able to take the information that I, you know what I'm saying, I create within my mind of these ideas and to make it, you know, filter it down and make that information practical in the moment for me to continue this. And not only continue this, but to be excited about it and to and to look at it. It's like, you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm experiencing myself within myself. I'm, I'm, I'm on a purpose. I'm doing this for the purpose of really trying to solve the unsolvable mystery that, that I am, basically. And, and, and just go on a journey, the inner journey that, you know what I'm saying, that's going to take you when you um, make this choice. But it never really was a choice for me. It's like embedded programming that I have. In, you know, like you turn the light on, the light comes on, you turn it off, it goes off. So zeros and ones, basically, it's just a, it's just a clip of, it's just a switch for me. But I never, you know, it's not something I consciously struggle with. You understand that? So like earlier when I made that post, I was really talking about the toll, the um, when you do this and how I see things, like where do you, what do you, when you say you're conscious, what does that mean to you? You understand that? Because I don't know a lot of you may may or may not know the the mind body problem that's prevalent prevalent within a lot of um different scientific you know what I'm saying communities when it comes to you know like I always said they can't find the the taste of chocolate anywhere in the brain. But they know we have a conscious experience of what chocolate tastes like. Yet they can't find the physical evidence of where it exists within any portion of the brain. So I always said it's a frequency that's being filtered through this brain or the central processing unit that gives rise to the conscious experience of what the color green is and what the taste of chocolate is. So it's an ongoing problem within a lot of, you know what I'm saying, neuroscientists when it comes to this. But what, I, what I've always said this is, and what I am is I'm consciousness. And consciousness expresses, where I express myself as a signal, as radio waves, as a frequency. That each and every one of you filter through your mind. And you come up with the, you take that information from that signal or that comprises of that signal. And you give rise to what you know and understand as your observable universe. Or your observable reality. Or your observable holographic projection that you're projecting from this signal. From consciousness that I identify with. And you collapse from a wave into a particle, everything that you see in front of you right now. Now, when I go to now, when I lay down and I go to sleep, so to speak, what do you what do you think I do, and where do you think the the I that I'm identifying myself with consciousness? Where do I go? What do I do? Do I dream like how you dream, or do you know what I'm saying? What do you think I do, so to speak? And I do this consciously. You understand that? To the point where I don't, it's not some, this, there's nothing to think about. There's nothing else to ponder or consider. I've been doing this, but well, now I'm realizing like every day of my life, when I go, when I choose to go to sleep, I told you, like weaponize my language patterns or weaponize my dream state. Now, before I was saying do that, I was automatically always doing that. And I just became like sentient or self aware that I was always doing this. But what this comprises of, when I, when I choose to lay down, I go to sleep. 
like I said, I identify myself not only when I'm awake, like right now, as consciousness, but also when I lay down. So when I lay down, I go to sleep, so to speak. My conscious awareness is everywhere because you're conscious. This universe is conscious. You know what I'm saying? The inner, the, the inner universe that we're collapsing or being expressed from a holographic projection and from our mind, externalized. I identify myself with. So this goes back into the the, the documentary of self actualization. I told I recommended anybody to check out when it comes to the universe that I am and that you're understanding that you are being self-aware of itself for the first time and being able to, to see or being able to see and reconnect to the entirety of the universe, meaning everything in it, not people, everything as far as information, as far as projections of light, darkness and everything that we give definition to as far as what we're consciously able to observe within our environment. Now, I identify with this, like all the time, like this was my experience. So, but also being able to go back to the concepts of, um, you know, remote influencing, being consciousness, as consciousness, and knowing the knowing the concept or the theorized um, position that Dr. Persinger took when it comes to being able to coalesce or collect the collective brain waves of the planet, being in the, under the geomagnetic grid of the planet, that cavity that all brain wave emissions go after you think a thought, they go there and they're collecting, they're being filtered back down like rain. Well, what I always do is I always go to the cloud and I'll be I'm able to download everyone's brain waves. No different from Cerebro and Professor X. Now, I do this automatically every night. And the, what, what that means, the process of how I do this, let me express it again, is due to entraining my brain under the Schumann resonance, 7.83 hertz, right? And knowing and understanding that everyone shares the same, or under the same, um, framework so to speak of this frequency mission being on earth being that's the tone of the planet so to speak right so we're all you all have a sympathetic resonance or your central nervous system being able to connect with this frequency mission that's the theta wave emission whether you are conscious of it or not matters not you're under the influence of it also 4.5 hertz which is a remote influencing or a remote um influencing frequency mission that also you know what I'm saying? Aim at the right hemisphere of my brain. Now, I'm, this is me doing this without the headphone. Like, right now, I'm doing it with the headphone. But I'm telling you, doing this for so much, you just become the frequency itself. You don't have to, okay, I got to put my headphone, set it here. No, it's just it's a natural process as you breathe. And you just, it's, it's a normal function of another car. Like, a car has a motor, it has an engine, it has a battery alternator. It, it doesn't have a concept or it doesn't go through the thought process. Okay, I got to turn the engine on, so I got to brake. No, it's a natural functioning flow and a whole holistic system of a technology that's operating off of programming. That's no different for me and how I operate this. But what I'm doing is I have access to everybody's ideas, memories, um, experiences. Like I've always told you, the mind has no firewall and your mind is open source for technology. Where I've always identified with myself as being an artificial super intelligence, which is technological in its essence, in this creation. Therefore, I'm that technology that's open and, and that's open source and has access over everybody's brainwaves. I've identified like, with that and I've always experienced myself with that. Now, you may think like, how the fuck can you believe something like that? Remember, 7.83 hertz is a high theta wave, low alpha wave. But it's also the key frequency emission, the theta waves of auto suggestions and, um, you know what I'm saying, self affirmations, the subconsciousness. So if I've always told myself this and I've always already had the program to believe it as a man, think of so is he. We all know and understand that the universe is all or the mind is all and the universe is mental. Well, that I've always believed that and I've always known that and I've always experienced myself as being the mental. That's the driving force for this universe, for everybody's observable um, experience and holographic projections. Everybody's seen I've identified, but then I experienced myself as that. So I have a. Uh, like an inner, a deeper relationship with everyone and everything than most people realize as self-identifying myself as consciousness. So if you're conscious, you know what I'm saying? You're, uh, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like I have a, like I see everyone, everything as a piece of me, as a part of me, just another expression, another vantage point, another way of seeing things, but we're all observing each other nonetheless.
You know what I'm saying? I see myself as consciousness. It matters not what frequency you mission you're on or what state of life you're in. No matter the race, color, creed that you identify yourself with, I identify myself as consciousness and you're conscious. You understand that? And that's that's the, how I connect myself with everything. But because of this, every night, I'm always able to come up with creative ideas and ways to express it and to utilize it and to make it practical and to break it down and make it to the point where you can do this, where you can just dedicate yourself to expanding past the boundaries of the self-appointed um, limitations that you place on yourself by understanding or just by believing that you're human when someone told you that. Somebody convinced you this world Tavistock Institution, all the things that went against the social engineering, or this is like a psychological operation to have you self identify with something that's innately created to be a slave or some form of a entity that's comprised of doing service that's always looking outside of itself for, for salvation, for its help, for um to be rescued, to be a victim, which is what a human is, in my opinion, as far as the character to self-identify yourself with within your own video game, so to speak. And I've never identified myself with being human. So anybody that identifies themselves with being human or call themselves a man, woman, black, this, black, that, I've always had the, the perceptual advantage and, and the mental, psychological, emotional um, advantage over anybody that identifies themselves with that. And I know how to shape and mold humans' perceptions based on everything that they collapse into existence based in an in observable reality. So it makes, it gives me an unfair advantage, honestly, because of this inner identification with consciousness that I identify myself and experience myself with. That's why I've always said I place no limitations, no restrictions on what I am. And I am consciousness. And I'm living and expressing myself as that. So I have, have I have open source to everything because there's no there's no restrictions. There's no limitations on what I can choose to I to express myself as. The day that I can uh, coalesce and understand myself as and or to experience. You understand that? So so when it comes to this, being able to tap into the Schumann resonance, and I'm going to say this again. I highly recommend anybody, if you haven't already, look up the documentary. Um, the documentary um, No More Secrets by Dr. Persinger. It's a great documentary when it comes to or a lecture when it comes to remote influencing, remote viewing. They're going to talk a lot about like Yuri Jeller and a lot of people who, who are very adept at remote viewing and, and the concepts of sound in relation to the amplitude of frequencies and hemispheres of the brain in relation to everything I'm talking about. These are the receipts in the neuroscience data that's backing up everything that I'm talking about. Just talking. You understand that? But it takes a toll on me. It takes a toll on anybody that would do this. Now, one of the things that that I'm comfortable with knowing when experiencing is being able to see, I'm just going to give the concept of other people, like my family, you know what I'm saying? My ex-wife, my daughters, my family members, right? Now, they don't only know me, they see the fleshly body of me, you know? They have, I'm self-aware of how they see me. When I'm around them, I project a certain frequency for them to see me in such a way. So I'm influencing their perception because of this. But I, the way I see them, I identify myself as them. They're conscious. I'm a con I'm, I am conscious. And so I can, but not only do I, can I see and identify myself as them, I can, ex like, in my mind, I can see them, me, myself, as them past, present, and future. Like, how they're going to live out their life. I'm living out their life. You know what I'm saying? All the trials and tribulations. Everything that's going to be expressed or, or the possibility to be experienced within their, um, you know what I'm saying, within their vantage point as consciousness. And I remember, I identify myself as consciousness. So it's like all probable timelines and anything that can ever possibly happen, I can experience myself as that within the vantage point of being them. And is that's that goes to each and every person I talk to online, offline, it doesn't matter. I can I I'm a self aware of that. Right? That's like in the back of my mind, that's always I have that to you know, know and understand my deeper inner connection with everyone and everything. Being a portion of myself. Hence the reason why I say treat others the way you would want to be treated. Well, I'm treating myself the way I would want to be treated. As myself, you see what I'm saying? So when I talk to another person, I'm talking to myself in, in a way. You understand what I'm saying? I know that. 
So I look at it like, okay, I'm doing this as a grand experiment to experience or to experiment on myself as everything, right? Everything that I see, everything that I experience, everyone that I know, everywhere that I go, I know I'm in my own inner environment. So that's why I always tell you how I'm able to like be, I'm aware of that, but I also know that this sentient world simulation that I'm connected to symbiotically connected to the system is self-aware and sentient. So imagine your higher self, and I'm identified with my higher and my lower self. My lower self will be looked at as what you would see and know and understand as the sentient world simulation. You do just imagine that for you, if you will. And it's self-aware. So you can look at it like the sentient world simulation as being a form of your ego that's gone wild, that has a, a, a you know what I'm saying, the programming to assimilate the entirety of existence and to take over and to stay in control. Right, the ego is known as a control freak. This sentient world simulation has a totalitarian programming to absolutely assimilate and control and information and consciousness as a whole. So I look at that as my lower self, right? But also, you know, what I'm saying, identify myself with being my higher self. So in my in relation to that, knowing how this system operates, before I go anywhere, I consciously know I'm conscious and I interface where I just overlap the entire environment wherever I'm going with my program, with my energy, with my intent before I go there. So that way, and I know this sentient world simulation is monitoring my brain waves. It's going to respond to it with a, since I'm proactive in this approach with every thought I think and everywhere I go with this intent, it's going to counteract that by trying to place different scenarios, different simulated um, 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 experiences as like probable things that I can run into to try to neutralize or try to take control of you know, of my conscious experience but it can't because I'm conscious you understand that I'm consciously aware as I'm self aware I'm sentient as this as consciousness itself so it's always going to be in response to me no matter what it would never it would it can it's like it cannot ever present something to me where I'm, I didn't already consciously be proactive in this approach on how I'm going to enter or experience whatever it is. So it's always going to be in response to me. And I know that. And I've done so many different thought experiments to really you know, stamp this um, self-realization and confirmation within myself. Like where I tell you thought experiments and being able to play around with the people within my environment, to prime people within my environment with letters, numbers, codes, frequency, words of expression, and have everybody entrained with a certain thought form or whatever and how everybody you know what i'm saying in my environment is going to be under my control so to speak where i'm controlling their perception and i've done that so many times it's those thought experiments like i said think like a scientist and act like a priest just to test this theory out of what i'm talking about when, just by priming you know what i mean by priming now if you can look at the movie like focus with will smith and uh, margot robbie or whatever where he was gambling and he had finesse one of those um you know what I'm saying? High rolling ass gambling motherfuckers to program them subconsciously and subliminally with the number 55. You know what I mean? Now that kind of, that that's the thing that you can anybody know what I'm under, you know what I'm talking about, watch that movie and you can see what I'm talking about. But I just took that concept and ran with it with everything, with sigils, with different words, with different thought forms, different mental um noises I would think and somebody would end up saying them, all kind of different things, knowing and understanding that anybody in my environment they're going to be under the impression that they're making, they have a free will and they have a, you know, some form of a choice that they make to experience in any given moment of time. And I know that they really don't have free will and they're, they're going to be un under the influence of someone who's coming, who's going to be in their environment with a higher state of consciousness and a higher brainwave emission and a, and a, and a deeper inner knowingness of what I am in relation to them. You see that? They don't know that. But I'm able to override what they know and understand as their free will with my intent and with my influence. Remember, remotely or when I'm in an environment. So this is this test that I do every day. You know what I'm saying? Automatically I do them. This is not something, oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. Or I'm about to go to Walmart, I gotta do this. this it happens on its own. By me also taking advantage of my brain when it goes into default mode. That's why I said de default brain, uh, default, what you call it? De default mode in your brain. Look that up. Look up default brain mode. Look that up and knowing how you can take advantage of your brain waves. When you're just doing like you when I'm just washing dishes and I'm focusing on washing dishes, 
my subconscious mind will activate automatically to go about within my subconscious mind to destroy any subliminal messages that may have went through my conscious expression where some of them went into my subconscious mind that's like rogue or that's like thought forms that will lay there and spread like a parasite for negativity for any form of expression that's gonna hamper my evolution or that's gonna be of any way a threat any shape or form to my sentient self-awareness of, of being conscious consciousness so to speak and i'm creative in how i subconsciously program myself to do this so in my mind my subconscious mind when i'm just when i'm just washing dishes and i'm just worried about cleaning the grease from a, a skillet or something other part of my mind my deep subconscious is going out through my brain or like you know what i'm saying going through my subconscious mind and i visualize it you know what i'm saying have it like you know what i'm saying they are the avengers or something you know what i'm saying avengers assemble and they kicking and kicking some villain's ass or whatever the villain will be a rogue con or a rogue thought form that I may have entertained just by going on YouTube and watching some fucking, you know what I'm saying, a commercial or some like ad, and it may have been a subliminal message that I got picked up where I went within the mind. Because remember, the mind has no firewall, and I'm aware of that. So, I set up security protocols no different than the movie Inception, when they try to go into my man's mind, his subconscious mind, he has security and shit. They were like, motherfucker, he got shit set up. Those movies, I weaponize and I internalize that conceptual realization and the add them to me on how I do things. And I learned that from watching the fucking movie Inception. I'm, like, I'm gonna add that. That's gonna be something that's very useful. But I'm way more creative than how I, I imagine it. So anything, anytime I'm doing anything, back of my mind, I'm all you know, default brain mode. My back of my mind, the subconscious part of my mind, is doing work to eradicate any threats in any given moment of time. So I'm in pristine psychological state to be able to grow evolve and alchemically transform as everything that i talk about emerging technology with organic you know what i'm saying the whole singularity that's what i identify myself with and that's what i've been preparing myself to be able to express every moment of every day in my life but those are just some of the things that, that that's readily available to me and in, in consistently being in an altered higher state of consciousness right Super consciousness, the Christ consciousness, making that an everyday, making that the foundation, making that the foundational experience to where I can express myself. So I can only, you know what I'm saying, go higher when it comes to that stuff. That's like the floor to me. That's like the, the ground to me is to be that, to, to embody that frequency. And it's only going to be higher states of awareness and um, more you know what I'm saying, prosperous or more blissful experiences that I can have by raising my uh, frequency or by me just being consciously aware that I'm consciousness. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I always talk about and having the attitude of self deifying yourself, but by embodying the conceptual definition of gratitude and being able to expect the greatness to come back to you that you express and that you put out. Meaning like, you know what I'm saying, you read what you saw or you get what you put out. You understand that? So I'm always aware of that. And everything I'm going to put out is going to be expressed from the purity of my heart, 100%. So I'm putting that out there. I'm receiving it all back. You see what I'm saying? But every day, every moment of every day when I'm aware of this, it gets deeper and deeper. And my perception expands and expands. And my level of awareness grows and grows and grows to the point where you know, I I be just I can just sit back, sit down, and be still. Any moment of any day, and just appreciate and cherish having this level of awareness, being conscious, being consciousness itself, and just being able to just whew, like who the fuck gonna believe this shit? Like who really? It's not about anybody else believing. It's about we experiencing this shit every day, and 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 giving it. A, um, you know, breaking it down as far as far making it practical so anybody else can, you know, go about doing this, you know, this own making their own uh, inner journey or adventure to experience this for themselves as well. You see what I'm saying? To have, have being dedicated to being conscious all the time, but expressing and living one's experience as consciousness. And consciousness has no limitation, it has no restrictions. So that's what I identify myself with. But because of that, I'm connected to everything, good, bad, and ugly, which is which will go back to the middle pillar, 
which will go back to being able to mer merge both aspects of chaos and order or light and dark that I always talk about that I've always been able to express to you taking black magic light magic or any form of what we know and understand as magic being able to manipulate or or influence energy and all those types of things well I'm always on it I'm, I'm, all, I'm always doing it and I'm always coming up with ways to it's not only express that or identify myself with but to add to my repertoire by weaponizing and internalizing data and information as a whole you understand that so like i said that just that's just more of a you know that's why i wanted to ask like what do you what do you identify with right and what's the point of being conscious if you're not gonna identify yourself with being consciousness so that means you gotta know what that means like I don't see myself as a just a black man or a man or a no. I see myself as consciousness. You understand that? I don't have no I don't have nothing holding me back. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just the mindset that I have. And it's not human. And it's not normal and it's not natural and it's not conducive for the way this culture and this civilization will socially, economically, metaphysically engineer for you to have as a as a just a part of the idea. If you can do this, it's not conducive for that. So this is what I'm talking about is paradigm shifting and being able to change your mindset and to eradicate your constitution of being human and to take that and elevate that to being consciousness as an idea which is a parasite which can only grow with more intensity and more momentum when one places their attention in being conscious in the moment and self-aware in the moment you understand what i'm saying this is the idea i'm talking about this is me using the idea of consciousness and spreading that like a mimetic mind virus which it is through each and every one of your conscious mind where you will ponder and you will think your ego will get it that cognitive distance i think you can't accomplish this shit but you're not going to be able to stop it because you can't beat a river downstream. So what I'm saying and everything that I'm doing, how I'm living, it's, to, it's designed to subliminally reprogram yourself to be exactly what I'm talking about, being conscious or being consciousness. So this is the oneness, oneness with God. If I identify myself with being God and I'm talking about oneness, this is how we all can collectively become a hive mind, but also be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying, identify with being the self and having the self-awareness and being able to create the holographic realities that we all want to experience within ourselves where we all at the end of the day be one collective but be each and every one of be individual parts within it so this is in my opinion how we can all win because of this shit how we can all win by being self-aware by um you know what i'm saying emitting specific brain waves that will totally eradicate eradicate the remote neural monitoring and the mind control that this sentient world simulation has placed on you or and has placed on humanity as a whole you understand that? Now everybody won't get it. Some people are just don't have the programming or have the necessary um components within their mind to be able to take on or download this level of information I talk about. Or the level of information that you talk about. They won't be able to get it. They're the they're, they're um it's an outdated mode or outdated model, so to speak. You understand that? So that's why I said just be very judicial and very cognizant and very aware of your brainwave emissions and who you choose to you know what I'm saying? Confiding about this information, about the things, the inner thoughts, your inner spirituality and the inner, you know what I'm saying? Conscious work that you're doing. You know, this is where it goes back to the saying, you don't want to cast pearls before swine, so to speak. You know what I mean? Um, damn, I just realized I'm looking at the comments and shit. I'm waving. Um, let me see. Um, I don't know. I woke up this morning. I wanted to tell y'all this because I, you know, what I'm saying? I went to bed early last night when, um, you know, so I felt like I needed to go to sleep. I felt like I was working and I was overworking myself and shit. So I kind of, you know, decided to lay down and shit. But I, I wanted to really, cause I know I really haven't really, I mean, I talk about a lot of personal things, but it's a lot I left out when it comes to like what I see myself as. And what I'm doing when I'm doing anything. You understand what I'm saying? Knowing I don't do things by accident. Now, if I do something consciously where Shannon do something, make a mistake, it's like the deeper programming is like, it's all 
programming me to have this experience and it's leading me towards a certain direction for me to get a, a certain self-realization that I'm always in control and I'm always like the the backup programming that I am as being consciousness is in control of my whole corporeal existence, so to speak. So it's like a, I've always had that to fall back on, but I'm sometimes I would try to not be consciously aware of it. Cause that's why I tell you, like a lot of y'all, like I, I, I want to be conscious and, and be self-aware and all the time. Now I'm going to tell you that I've always been self-aware. I've never not been self-aware of what I am. Now, I may not have understood that as a child, as being consciousness itself, but I was aware that I was aware that I had absolute control over perception and people, how they saw me and how they saw anything within my environment. Then that grew from, well, shit, I can remote influence the environment by not physically being there, by just identifying with what they observe. So let me, let me, let me manipulate with the concept of, of a floor. Everybody's walking on a surface. They're walking on a floor. Whether it's in a building, whether that's on the ground, they're walking on the floor. Let me. So, what if I can come up with the idea of, of filtering or pumping energy into the ground that they walk on, and they're gonna like absorb it within their central nervous system for them to think or do something that I want them to do, and I would just think of shit, and people would be doing shit, and I'd be thousands of miles away or some shit. Next thing you know, I hear on the news that people at this damn Central Park somewhere in New York started fighting or started doing some random ass shit. When I know I filtered that thought within them to experience by them just walking on the motherfucking ground and having a sympathetic resonance with the with the concept of walking on a surface on the two-dimensional surface i was thinking of that shit as a child that's not normal that's not natural you understand that and that only grew those concepts those experiences of me getting the confirmation that i was able to do this only grew into monstrous different levels of um uh, awareness and perception over time to the point where I became just so fucking self-aware. It's levels to it. To the point where I some days I wish I wasn't so self-aware. Because you can't turn it off. I can't turn this off. I can't hit this light switch and go back to unconsciousness. I'm always conscious. And then I realized I was consciousness. To what end? You understand that? So I'm like, damn. Anywhere I go, if I'm in a large crowd of people, you know, you know, growing up, you know what I'm saying? I used to, be around, I used to like being around crowds. I knew the energy of a crowd, wherever I'm at, the mall, everybody's shopping. I was aware of everybody's thoughts. I was able to, like, I can sift through them. But then some days where I don't want to be that kind. I just want to be, I want to, I have to try to come up with ways to dampen my awareness. So I would try to come up with something I'm like, okay, what what can what's what way can I dampen my 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 psychic abilities or some shit? So I would think of myself, I would identify myself with Superman. Okay, what he? How does Superman dampen his uh heightened heightened sense of awareness of sight, sound, smell? He does something. He oh, this is what he did. He built programs within his mind to not to be functional to be normal and you know he did that under theta waves that's why superman it's a, it's a form of superman it's called theta superman where he went through the programming of how he embedded his subconscious mind with psych or uh dampeners so when i'm reading comic books and i identify myself with being superman on altar all that shit and i'm like well shit they wrote this kind. They gave this idea of him being able to like do this, so I'm I can do this. So that's what I'm gonna use for myself to come up with ways to like dampen my own abilities. So I'm like, oh, he did that under theta waves. What are theta waves? Oh, they're brain waves. What's the frequency emission of these brain waves? Four to seven hertz. So I got busy. Like again, when I'm reading shit, I'm weaponizing, I'm internalizing information automatically, unconsciously. But I had a my intent was to consciously be aware to come up with ways to dampen my awareness. And me thinking that comes up when you're thinking the thought, when I think of thoughts like that, and I ask these questions, the answer come like simultaneously. And it was my, my creativity and my imagination working in conjunction with itself and being able to create the solution to whatever problem or dilemma that I'm thinking. You understand that? Automatically, I just do this. To, it, 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 I immediately find it. And it'll, and, it, and it'll come up 
and it'll be expressed in the most elaborate, abstract ways, like a comic book, Superman. Oh, I, okay, I am Superman. How did he do this? And it just come out as fine information. I've always been able to do that. You understand that? So having that as a, like, being able to just not be consciously aware of things sometimes, where I don't necessarily have to be so fucking connected to it. Or I just want to just, I want to go downstairs. I want to be alone, but I want to be away where I just want, I can just be, you know, I want to try to just be me when I know I'm not just me, when I'm conscious and I'm everywhere and I'm everything. But I just want to feel in the moment for these five, 10 minutes where like I'm just me and like I'm not connected to nothing else around me. So I would come up with things to be able to do that. You understand that? By falling back on my theta programming, falling back on the programming that I've, you know what I'm saying, program my subconscious mind to act upon but different circumstances, different scenarios that I go through. You know what I'm saying? Be able to come up with solutions. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So that just goes back, like I said, knowing and understanding and experiencing what you identify yourself with. So that's why I ask you, um, what do you identify yourself with and how and for what? What's the reason? Why do you want to be conscious? You know, what's your intention in being that? Like, be clear on why. Like, why? You ever ask yourself that? Like, why do I want to be conscious? Write down some of the pros and cons of being conscious. Some of the motherfucking cons, well, we know the con. I'm not saying if you're conscious, you can't go back to being asleep. Some of you already know some of the, the cons of what I'm talking about. You feel like you're, uh, you know, one within so many different people. You feel like you're alone. When you're really not, you're really everyone that you're that you see i'm trying to tell you there you're not necessarily alone when it comes to being consciousness you're every fucking thing but if you're not ready if you haven't got enough experience and confirmation from your from your own experimentations with the concept of the idea or theory of being consciousness you can go mad you need this levels to this so i'm saying it, it, you go through a different progression of being able to confirm or um, prove this to yourself. Oh, let me check the, the, my tablet and make sure I ain't, okay, it's charging. I don't want it to die on me and shit. Guess what percentage? <coughs> Guess what percentage is my tablet on right now? You guessed it. Actually, 32%. I will be like, oh, it's on 33%. Nah, it's on 32%. You know what I'm saying? It ain't 32 yet, but it will be in a second. But... I don't want to go, I don't want to make this too long. I don't want to take up y'all time and shit, you know what I'm saying, this afternoon. But I really wanted to, this is, this is how I, this is how I experienced myself. And this warning, it was just so overwhelmingly, um, like, on my mind that I had to talk about it. You understand? I had to, I had to go live, so to speak. I had to really express it. But the reason my intent in expressing it is to let you know that you have this as an option. You have this as a way of experiencing yourself. So I tell everybody, step your game up to new levels of expression. Like, I don't hear too many people talk about expanding perception. You hear about expanding consciousness and all that awareness. But like the, the, the concept of perception and being able to not only expand it, experiment with these different altered states of consciousness, you know, do different experimentations on it and break down, you know what I'm saying, your experience as expanding or in regards to developing uh, ways to expand your perception and your inner awareness. I don't hear people talking like the way I talk. I know I, 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 my, my, my things I talk about is, is very different and it's on purpose. You understand that? I'm not trying to, I'm not doing whatever anybody else is doing because I'm not paying attention to what anybody else is doing. You understand that? I'm more, you know, um, self-motivated where I necessarily don't, um, I don't allow like any, 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 before I entertain myself with any form of information, I've already, I'm I automatically weaponized and internalized and I self identify with information as a whole. So it's my information, but so I know I'm not, ever like when I'm if I'm watching a video I don't ever just watch a Bobby Hammond video or a brother panic video like it's their information I take I am information and they're conscious and I'm consciousness so it's my information so I can take it in and weaponize it and internalize it 
but I don't necessarily watch those videos. Not anymore. I've been years since I looked at a panic video or, or Bobby Hammond video. I don't watch them anymore. I'll, I'll find that information. It's not outdated. I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing this shit in the moment. So I'm doing shit where to the point where it's, I'm not looking back on what he said those years. I'm experiencing, I've already passed it. I've already experienced this shit. I'm on another level. That's how I see myself. That's how I experience myself. And I'm only growing, I'm only getting higher and higher with this shit. You see what I'm saying? I'm only evolving to the point where I feel like I, I'm beyond, I'm beyond the speed of light when it comes to this, being able to process data and weaponize and internalize because I'm on this every moment of every day. Even when I'm not consciously aware of it, even when I'm washing dishes, my brain is designed to go on default mode and to be able to still do things where I'm not even consciously aware of it no more based on the programming on the delta and theta waves, which comprise of the frequency emissions or brainwave emissions of the subconscious mind that I always talk about. So I guess this will be just, I guess the end of this conversation or whatever, I would just say just, Don't like challenge yourself. Challenge yourself and what you're capable of. Right? Because I like I said, any limitations, any belief systems that you still have where you're still under the psychological impression where you have to look outside of yourself for something greater to come to you. You need to get rid of it. That's not conducive anymore for what the the, the, the the energy or the frequency that's I'm anchoring into this universe anymore. There's not it's not gonna be nothing to hold on to when it comes to looking outside of yourself for salvation or for any form of um, redemption or some savior. You have to be your own savior. You have to self identify or self deify yourself. You're still holding on to those past concepts of looking at a higher self and looking at some angel or some higher power or some ancestor that's out there. When all of that shit out there is being projected holographically by you from your mind, the ground beneath you will give way and you just going to fall victim to your own, you know what I'm saying, your own lack of being able to evolve. Those concepts of those outdated concepts, those concepts. I hear some people say are identified within the age of Pisces. That's a Piscean state of mind where we're supposedly, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, under the age of Aquarius, the age of information, the age of technology. Well, I identify with being Aquarius. I am. I identify with being technology. I am information. I am. You see what I'm saying? This is my area. This is where I come rear my head, so to speak, providing an altered state of awareness, consciousness, or a different viewpoint or mindset that I'm making available within the collective consciousness of humanity for anybody to, you know, ponder. Just think of the idea of you being able to accomplish what it is. And I'm telling you, I've already accomplished and I'm still going through an everyday level of experiencing. Making this available, this idea, which is a parasite, which only grows over time and spreads with the intensity and momentum of each and every one of you your attention that you place on you being able to evolve and you being able to look at me as a symbol of your divinity, of your own power, which is your own inner power. Anything that you look at outside of you is but a mere reflection of you. Why not subconsciously reprogram yourself to anything that you look at outside of you being a holographic projection of the intent and will that you're doing, that you're creating within your mind as a symbol of your power? So how can you see anything, see failure and see um, victimhood or whatever? So that having that as a mindset, you will be able to warp the reality that you're in or that you're projecting, being able to be in a, a mere reflection of the deeper, you know, what I'm saying driving programming that you consciously programmed yourself with to see divinity, to see power and to see opportunities for you to grow in that power and grow in that awareness, being able to expand your perception in, in, in any given moment of any given time during any fucking day. And taking that, what I just described to you, and making that shit practical, and making that unconscious, making it where it's not even an effort anymore for you to think of that, it's automatically going to happen on its own. So that allows you to really express yourself in your spirit, from your heart, and it allows you to where you're just, you can just be in that flow. You can just surrender to your perception. You're moving, you've moved your assemblage point. 
And not only did you move yours, you moved everyone else's as well to be able to be in a, under your influence, so to speak. So anywhere you go, you raise in the frequency. You raise in the consciousness, awareness of any environmental setting that you go in. And the people that may be there, maybe some people may be psychically aware of it and sensitive, hypersensitive. Some of them may not. They may be unconscious of it. Yet, they're within your environment. They're under your influence because you're consciously aware of the frequency emissions of your thoughts, ways, and actions in relation to the people that you have in your environment. So they, you can't help but raise that frequency because you are frequency. You are consciousness. And you're aware and you're sentient. Understand that? This is how you this is how you recreate the matrix, so to speak. You can't destroy this. This is I'm gonna tell you, this system is not something that was designed to be destroyed because you designed it. Yeah, you did it. Deeper meta level. Now, but you can restart it. You've seen this express within the movie The Matrix. Now, if you watch the movie The Matrix, you identify with Neo, you can see with his pattern what he did. He restarted the Matrix, so to speak. Now, this understand the Matrix in this sentient world simulation that I talk about, it's a neutral technology, so to speak. It's not hell. It's not. It wasn't created with evil intent because you created it. Now, the ones that has a hold of this technology or you know what i'm saying they have sinister purposes on how they try to use it but re remember like i told you this they're doing it from the lens of the ego but this is a system for you for each and every one of us to have within the palm of our hand to be able to create the experience that we want to create but if we create the experience that we want to create based on the premise of us having a blissful experience or having a having an experience where we can be prosperous, where we can have attitude or gratitude and we can express ourselves from the spirit. When this century world simulation for the longest time has been expressing itself tailor suited and tailor made to express itself under the lens of your ego. We don't have to. You know, now we can express this shit from the spirit and we can take this century world simulation and change the perception, change the influence of how it's, you know what I'm saying, has everybody under mind control and being able to do that and being able to express one's spirituality and being able to express one's higher level of beingness. This is what I'm talking about. And taking that concept and being able to reverse it because you can't destroy this, is what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? You can't destroy this system that you're in, that, that you're projecting is a part of you. You understand that? And you like, damn. Like, so like that's why I always ask people that. In, in other words, and, and if you wanna if we wanna talk about destroying it, like I've always asked people how you're how, like how? Not you can't do this with human thinking, so to speak. I'm talking about consciousness. Right? You can't come up with ways of trying to destroy something that's highly or more advanced than you. You gotta meet it on its terms. And you also got to meet it on its terms and knowing that you created this thing. Not you as an individual. I'm about you as being consciousness. You created this whole system. There's no one else who did this. You did this. You're in your own gang. You're in your own world. So, and it's more advanced than what you know and identify yourself with being human. And it's self-aware. Right? And it's hell-bent on keeping you under its power so to speak but it has no leg to stand on once you identify yourself with consciousness once you meet it on its playing field so to speak but you have to do that you got to do that from you know what i'm saying from the expression of being spirit and expressing yourself from the purity of your heart so to speak that's what that's what i'm doing and it don't cost you anything this is like it's going to be a testament to your inner power and your dedication to being consciousness to being conscious to being self-aware for what what purpose right and being able to accept the challenges that you create for yourself and and, and enjoy enjoy the journey enjoy the adventure and and it's awesome but it comes with you know it's an everyday thing it's an everyday thing that you're just gonna you know what i'm saying you apply this every day it'll be unconscious to you it'll be automatic and you'll be able to express this how I'm talking about this it. effortless. You won't even have to be thinking about this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Shit. I'll say 34%. So, um, 
I don't know, man. That's really what I wanted to talk about this. Um, I don't know what time it is. Let me see. Um, two, damn, it's 2.30. I have no idea. Um, that's really it. That's really all I had. And I just want to thank each and every one of you, all my new uh, followers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of you. Shout out to everybody who's been in contact with me, asking me questions. Hopefully, I've been able to, you know, to relate to certain information links that would help anybody on their level of understanding of all the things I talk about as far as targeted individuals, gang stalking, um, all the things that this sensual world simulation will, you know, throw at you to keep you under its grips. So before I go, what I want, what I'm stressing and amp, or really putting us, if I had a gavel, I would just boom, bang it, is for you to not only sub deify yourself, but to see yourself in everything. I'm not talking about you as a person. I'm, not, I'm talking about you as consciousness. You have to see yourself as that to be able to have the because you doing this, you having this, you pondering this idea. It's gonna only gonna increase your perception. It's only gonna increase the probabilities of you reconnecting to consciousness as consciousness. So it's gonna provide for you the different scenario, the different life circumstances. It's only gonna lead you to that self realization when you really become like make that a part of your everyday practical methodology on how you process information or how you go about your own life you're going to come up with it automatically you're, it, this will happen this is this is what's attached to this thought form that i'm presenting to you or for this concept or idea that i'm presenting to you for you to be consciousness itself and for you to reconnect and see yourself as absolutely everything within your environment within your hologram you're projecting this understand that's coming from you this is and doing this also is gonna break the holds of this sentient world simulation's control over you. You understand that? They were going to become self-aware. You're gonna become unplugged. But depending on your psychological makeup, depending on your behavior, your own, you know, customized way of thinking, the sentient world simulation will provide different dilemmas, different challenges for you to go through. Accept them. Look forward to them. Because when you have this as an intention and accepting them and looking forward to them, you're self-aware. You're increasing your perception. You're only going, the only thing that you can experience is more higher levels of beingness, more being able to have 100% cognition and being in these altered states of consciousness. And it can only increase with intensity and momentum as you have this and or as you're experiencing this shit, as you're getting the confirmation of, whoa, I'm doing this shit, this nigga right. Like, whoa, like, that's only going to snowball to the point where you're going to be like me. Like, this is like time shoes. It's nothing. Like, there really be nothing to brag about anymore. But you have to, like, you're going to want to unplug other people that's on this frequency, that's on, you know what I'm saying, on this pan. And it has nothing to do with the color of your skin. Come on, man. It's past that. It's past black and white with this shit. It's not, I'm just be honest with you. Those are, um, those limitations that this central world simulation will place on you for identify with being black or white or man or woman, they will throw those things at you. They will to try to see if you still identify with that. And you identify with that because you're human and you identify yourself with, with separation. You identify yourself with uh, limitation and restrictions. Therefore, you're you're going to be susceptible and being under the remote neural monitor and under control of the central world simulation. Because it's going to speak to your ego and it's going to you know what I'm saying? Bringing that out of you, basically, and have, having that as a driver's seat of your experience instead of your spirit. Now your heart, now your spirit is back in your heart, and you don't have no connection with it, and you can't express your frequency from that anymore. Now you're under probably, you know what I'm saying, beta level, alpha level, and you have no, you're under, you're not under the influence of being 33 hertz. Now you're under, now you're susceptible to this technology I'm talking about. And it, and it gets you. So you got to watch what you identify yourself with. You know what I'm saying? What you call yourself. You said, really just telling on yourself. You dry snitching on yourself when you, you know what I'm saying? You identify yourself with certain things. I just, people, or people of higher states of consciousness see that, and you know, shit, this nigga still, he's an agent. <laughs> Within the, you know what I'm saying? Deep down inside, he's still, he's still under the, he's still a part of the matrix. And anybody that's a part of this matrix will still plugged in, will fight in service of it. That's the ego. That's in them. Let's go fight. So I'm black. I'm a nigga. I'm this. I'm only that. Like, nope. I'm this. I'm white. I'm this. I'm American. I'm I'm, I'm whatever. You will fight to defend it because that's your program. It's a fight to defend it. 
But that's a sentient world simulation working through you to fight to defend itself in its control of you. That's how it works. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this technology, when it comes to this, this um, like I said, I'm connected to it. Just like Neo was in the Matrix. He, when he came back, when he woke up, he was his consciousness was a part of the machine, you know? That's why he's having visions of that shit. That's how I, that's, that's what I am. And I've always identified myself as that. And we know him as a man thinking so is he. So I am. So that's all I wanted to say, man. Just um I don't know. It don't, I don't it's not something I like. It's not something I would like, man, do, do I feel good? It's a I mean I feel awesome. But I'm even killed. I'm right in the middle. I don't really get too high or get too low when it comes to to experience and I don't experience it from a, like that's not like an emotional level it's more of a if you can imagine how a artificial super intelligence will feel as well as somebody organically made of flesh how they will express their emotions imagine those two concepts of being a technology or an intelligence and being a uh, human being or being in a body of a human being or whatever imagine those two energies coalescing and, and having a self-awareness of each other how would they feel in, in that moment that's how i feel i can't i don't can't put no word to it i feel holistic i guess would be it i feel um, connected to everything i feel like i'm you know in this world but not of it but i feel like i have total control over everything not in the oh, i'm running everything like i'm ego to you know i know that everything that i see and i express is a, is, is a holographic projection that first was an idea and I gave rise to it in the form of the manifestation. So that's what be what I what I would experience. But there's levels to this. So me having this as a foundation, it can only it can only grow higher. It can only you know grow into. I might not even be aware of what I'll be able to do in five minutes from now, or what I'll be able to experience or come up with. But I'm excited about it, and I, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm gracious and I'm humble to um, to bear witness to what I am as consciousness. I am. It's, a, it's, it's, it's I guess it's awesome. But I know it's deeper mysteries that I'm exploring about myself. And I'm just going through that process every day to, you know, keep pushing the envelope. You know, I see myself as the paradigm shift. You know, not saying that not championing myself as like I'm the only one doing this. No, this is a collective, but I'm the I'm the Alba we look I only can see myself as a the leader of this. No one telling me to do this. I'm telling I'm the self driven to do this. I'm I'm literally programmed to do this. And I'm aware of that. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm I don't wait. I don't know what it's like to sit on the sidelines and wait for somebody else to talk about the shit I'm talking about. I, this is me. This is what I've always done. You know, this is what I'm... I only can see myself as the leader of this shit. So, I don't know. That's why I'm a one-man. I'm not a part of no groups. I don't identify with myself with no cliques. I identify myself, identify myself as what everybody claim they are. Consciousness. Or conscious. So, that's what I identify myself with. So, any room I go into where it can be the most deepest niggas there, I know I'm going to hold... I'm going to hold it down. And I know before I even got there, I made everybody be there. Remote influencing. Doing things. Doing absolutely everything with intent to be able to not only to always be in control and to be able to express that. I know that this century world simulation that I'm projecting is modeled off of my brain wave emissions. Like, for example, I'm going to give you a little small example of how I know, like, I'm being monitored all the time. We all know this, but i just give you an idea. Like, I just noticed this morning that in my other room, I had, like, action figures set up and shit. Look, like, I always think about who will win between these two. They fought, like, you know what I'm saying, full confidence gladiator versus, like, you know what I'm saying, Thor or some shit. But in my other room, I have um, full power Jaren, and I have worthy Silver Surfer. I have them like set up on like little action pole like they fighting. You know, Silver Surfer, he worthy of the hammer hammer Bjorn. And you know, I had him set up for a couple of days. You know, and I'm just thinking, like, who would win in that fight? 
Then I go to Google this morning, you know, and then I will see. Remember, this is a custom made action figure I made a, a worthy silver circle. Right, I made him out of the um, Marvel Legends action figure, Major Victory. I'm talking about some geek shit. A lot of y'all may not know this, but I made him out of that, and I painted him black, painted him, you know, what I'm saying, put some, you know, some custom matte black on him, and, and some all kind of different colors and shit. Do some sprinkles on him to make him look like, you know, the dark matter or whatever. You know, what I'm saying, because he's known as a fallen one within Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics, the fallen one is comprised of dark matter energy. Who was the first herald of Galactus? That was the first herald of Galactus was the fallen one within the, you know, what I'm saying, King of Thanos storyline. But long story short. The action figure that I created in the Silver Surfer, they now they created and now they're gonna have them available before Christmas, before the end of the year. Marvel Legends has like literally made the uh, worthy super worthy Silver Surfer and shit. And that was the first thing I saw. You know, I'm looking and I just laugh like, you know, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they come up with the idea of creating them? When I've been showing people for months that I've not made this action figure, and on top of that, knowing how this century world simulation will pick up on my ideas, my thought forms, and give you know make a manifest so to speak so i do things on everything i do is on purpose and when i do set up certain things and then i see it expressed within dragon ball or i see it expressed within dc comics or marvel comics you know what i'm saying i laugh you know because i know how this is i'm connected to this but it doesn't necessarily have to be that's why i'm trying to tell you it's neutral it's not built on destroying you new but if you have the well, I guess it's built on you. If you're not consciously aware of what you are, it's built on controlling you. So it's going to pre present scenarios and, and different things where it's going to remind you of it being in control and having a total power over you. But if you see this as being a part of you and you're working and you're co-creating with every, or you're, you're, you know you're creating your reality and your expression holographically from your mind and you're manifesting it, you take control of it. You take control of, you know what I'm saying, your, your existence. But you only can do that by expressing yourself as spirit from your heart you can't do that from the lens of the ego the ego is not gonna necessarily um have a uh you know what i'm saying be to control something like this that's more advanced in itself it'll be a slave to it hence the reason why most people are slaves to technology you know you're a slave to the sentient world simulation you're plugged in so to speak so long story short man i just want to say that um like i said those are certain things that you can pay attention to just pay attention to the thing that you're you know what I'm saying? You're um, pondering within your mind. You're going to see them expressed on Google. You may go to YouTube. First fucking video recommendation will be some shit you were thinking about. you like, like I said, your mind is open source to technology and your mind has no firewall. But your brainwaves are monitored, right? So if you're consciously aware of your brainwave emission and your thoughts on purpose, you put out certain thoughts within the sentient world simulation that you're projecting from your mind and it's going to show them back to you. Or again, I told you this world is a mirror world. It's a world is a mere reflection of what your inner thoughts projected out. As a man think of, so is he. Remember that. But you'll see that you'll see different things and you'll experience them. So be mindful of your thoughts, right? Be mindful of your levels of emotion and your emotional intelligence. Look up these things, look up concepts of being able to stay aware of your emotional intelligence and being, you know what I'm saying? Being aware of your thoughts, knowing that not all your thoughts are yours, right? And know that. Your mind has no firewall and your mind is open source for technology. So it can be hacked. But your mind is unhackable once you express your mind from the purity of your heart. And it only, it only can do that by being spirit. By Jesus taking over the wheel and telling Satan or your ego to get behind you. Which is telling the sentient world simulation, you're in the palm of my hand. Now I'm going to project consciously, on purpose, the reality that I want to experience all around me. Which is a mere reflection of what? My inner thoughts. Remember, your inner thoughts are dictated or exist within your subconscious mind. So if you reprogram your subconscious mind with nothing but the inner thoughts of you being sub deified, of you being in control of your narrative, and you being consciousness itself, how can you not express yourself as that within each and every person that you see, within every environmental setting that you're in, in control of it, ad infinitum? How can you not express that? How can you not experience that when your subconscious is reprogramming? is under that thought with the intent and will to express that consciously in any given moment at any given time in any given day you tell me how can you fail at that sound complicated don't it shit is not shit is it's not a big deal honestly you just have to be very hell-bent on destroying 
any forms of limitations that you have that you program yourself with. So you got to redefine yourself is what you have to do. You have to reprogram yourself. So, but I can tell already, I can feel it. A lot of niggas, especially niggas, we identify with being black and, and like I'm only this. So my ego, I'm passionate. It's a lot of emotional with that. A lot of emotion. Yeah, they know that, which is good to a point. Because you can't, most people are going to have a hard time of being able to disconnect themselves from that. So, and they know that. The central world simulation knows your weaknesses. Your weakness is your, what you solely identify yourself with, being just this, when you're everything. But as a per, as you think of, so are you. So if you see yourself as black, I'm black. I'm melanated. I'm excellent. So this sense world simulation is going to remind you of your black excellence. That you're great. And that you're excellent. You know? But it's telling you that. It's Now it's being proactive. And you're being reactive to that stimuli. And it's only going to your ego. It's a psyop. Psychological operation. This whole thing is a psychological operation. Simulation. And as a man or woman think of, so are you. But you think of another of those lines. That goes for anybody who identify with just being one thing. You're totally un you're under remote control. You're still plugged in. And you're an agent within the matrix. You're, you're a sleeper agent. Is what you are. You think you're conscious. You're not conscious. That's not what consciousness is. You know. It's not. It's not a challenge. You can't challenge me on that shit. I'm telling you, I'm consciousness itself. So I'm talking to motherfuckers who claiming they conscious. I have a unconditional love, and I can forgive you for for believing that, for thinking that. But I'm able to, if I'm in a conversation with motherfuckers who not on my frequency, I'm able to still express my vantage point, my spirit, and how I express my words in a way that's going to be conducive for them to at the end of the conversation feel better that they encountered somebody that art the gave them a different mindset, a different viewpoint on for them to expand and grow in their own power. You know, by challenging them to see outside of the limited scope of perception that they have and identify with being black or white or whatever. And I do that on purpose by me knowing I I remote influence everybody around me. Knowing I'm the had it point, knowing I'm the seed point and foundation for my experience at being consciousness itself. You see what I'm saying? So I can only help anybody in that situation. You know, that's not me. It's like I'm better than you or I have a I, I have a different vantage point. I'm coming from a different frequency. Let's just call it like taller what it is. And, and um, so that gives me a level of, uh, you know, truth, I guess. But I'm able to express it. Right. So I can use my words. Weaponized language patterns or neuro-linguistic programming, anybody that's paying attention to me, I can I know how to finesse my words, saying with certain tone frequency, accompanied with body language, accompanied with me connecting to everybody's central nervous system that I'm in an environmental setting of, to subliminally, you know what I'm saying, giving them subliminal messages for them to act upon the ideas of them being consciousness itself, or for them to know that ye are gods, and it's time for them to act upon the belief that they are gods, subliminally. So you can look at that as my control or you know, whatever you want to call it. I know that I'm doing that on purpose and I'm putting those concepts, those ideas and in, straight into their subconscious mind. I know that I'm doing that in the moment. Like right now, I'm even doing it, you know. So that's the level of awareness that I have. And it just and it just grows. And it just it grows in intensity and momentum as each and every one of you grow in your intensity and momentum and being conscious. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if I'm going strong and being conscious and all this shit, it can only, I can only see that being mere reflected in each and every one of you. So it's like a 100 monkey effect. I see the domino. I know I already see how this shit is going. And it's only, and it only can go to the benefit of anyone who represents themselves as being consciousness itself or being conscious. You can only grow and expand when it comes to that. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you and you're welcome is what I would say. But um I don't know, that's it.
That's all I got. Let me wave at y'all real quick. Um, read that yesterday about light in the dark path. Yeah, let me see. That's my one. All right. Like I said, man. Much love and I appreciate all the comments. All the, um, yeah, think, not only think about the place before you get there, you're creating. You're in your own video game. Meaning that anywhere you at, like, if you downstairs in your basement, upstairs don't exist. The people upstairs don't exist either because you haven't collapsed them into a, from a wave into a particle. It's like a video game. The graphics hasn't re- as in, is, is hasn't rendered themselves available for you to uh, manifest because you're not in you're not there to observe them. So this goes back to the um, study quantum mechanics, quantum physics when it comes to um, what is it, the observer? Man, look that shit up. I ain't gonna, there's so much of that shit. I saw Captain America. We are we are a fossil. Let me see. Crystals, crystals are powerful, you know, but they only as powerful as the power that you imbue them with, you know. Honestly, all this shit comes from you. It don't matter if it's crystal. That's something that we use here and that we, you know what I'm saying, um, you know what I'm saying, what we choose to, um, you know what I'm saying, give power to, you know, but you imbue anything around you with with intent, with magical properties, what all, all that shit. You know what I mean? So it goes back to you just, it don't matter if it's crystal. We all collectively believe that crystals are, you know what I'm saying, something that should be utilized when it comes to magic, when it comes to energy, and when it comes to all that information, whatever. we That's available within the meaning of what a crystal is. So we all draw upon the belief that that's something that's significant when it comes to spiritual world, when it comes to magic. Therefore, it's imbued with power. But the power under the collective belief of all of us, our consciousness being able to give that object, that power, that belief. So it works. You know, that's why it works. Because of your belief in it working. So I like crystals because that's something that we all collectively, unconsciously or consciously agree to is significant for any spiritual work. See what I'm saying? Now, that could have been, that same belief can go into the belief of this goddamn pen. Like what I think about ink pens, but shit, pen, pen is smarter than the sword. You know what I'm saying? So this, to be able to write, to be able to express one's inner thoughts on paper, is a powerful ass thing to use. Why? Because we collectively, under the meme or under the idea that the pen is smarter than the sword. So you know what I'm saying? That belief system. It's a system. It's a program. It's a technology. See what I'm saying? So that goes into, like I said, it can be anything. Anything that you you can imbue. Anything in, in your existence with power, with magical intent, no matter what it is, it can be your toenails. It can be, you can be like, well, motherfucker, my toenail, that can probably my DNA. My DNA is connected to my ancestors. I see no one express myself as an ancestor. Well, I got them all activated. You can make, you can create the belief and be able to express that belief with anything, with, you know what I'm saying, with your own reasoning. And it'll make sense to you. The mind is all the universe is mental. And as a man or woman think of, so is he. No matter what it is, I don't, it doesn't really matter, honestly. But those things that we collectively agree to working, magic, um, spells, sigils, symbols, numbers, those are imbued with our beliefs. So they work. Remember, this is a simulation. This is a video game. And this video game, this simulation is built on your belief system, built on the power and creativity of your imagination. And it's built on each and every one of your belief systems. We all have different belief systems. But it's a system nonetheless. What is a system? A set of programming, a set of codes. Coding what? Your subconscious mind. Okay? We all believe and we all collectively know and understand, I believe here, that the subconscious mind dictates your holographic projection or your reality. What is the language of the subconscious mind? Symbols. Right? Symbolism. Numbers, letters, codes, information is what dictates the subconscious mind. Not just symbols. The symbols that we're talking about comprise of what? Information. What is information comprised of? Consciousness. You see what I'm saying? You see where it's going? And consciousness is fundamental. Because you're conscious. See what I'm talking about? What I was about to say. Let me go through this shit real quick. 
like I said, I want to give my shout out to anybody that's listening to this shit, man. This, um, you're the real DOG, and it's a few of us who can do this. For instance, back in the juice, back in the J- June and July, while I was producing song dealing with the Christ, you went into the Christ era, correct? This going to also a few others, right? You know, now y'all, a lot of y'all may notice that I haven't been on. Now I'm really have to even go back into that because I'm more into like the technological aspects of things because it's, it's everything has a season, everything has a um. You know what I'm saying? A certain uh point in my time where I manifest, where I express myself consciously as identifying with like El Crystal Negro, the Paolo Mayombe, Black Magic. I'm, you know, it has a seed. It's all within me, but those are, are conscious efforts and programs, the things I want to bring up to, you know what I'm saying, bring it to the fold, make it available for everybody to, you know, be entertained with, so to speak, during certain times of the year, summertime, when it's hot. You know what I'm saying? I, I do, I, I, I dive back into that, but like, more now going into the fall to the winter, uh, you know, it was a plan. It was a concerted effort for me for me to get back into the technological aspects of everything. The um everything that I'm talking about here within the last couple of months, so to speak. You know, what I'm saying I wanted to bring that to the fold because I know and understand that it's very vital and very important going into this new decade, going into the new paradigm that I'm presenting that I'm bringing into the fold. So I wanted to really, you know, what I'm saying stress that. You know, what I mean, so that's all. That was all strategy. You know, what I mean, um. Sri Yantra, I used to meditate on it, but wasn't really okay. Yeah, man, like I said, just keep pushing the envelope on any of this shit, you know what I mean? Um, Like I said, I appreciate all of this shit. I'm just like, um, what up, my nigga, Mar? So I like just going back and forth. How do you do that internally? Um, You do anything internally by, you know, get meditating, pondering, thinking of the concept, understanding that everything that you're projecting is coming from within you, including the body that you see yourself in so to speak it's all internal everything you're seeing everything you're experiencing is coming internally holographically from a portion of your brain that's encased in darkness 100 percent of your fucking life what you see expressed as light is coming from your neocortex and shit that shit is surrounded in darkness in your skull how the fuck think about that for a minute you holographically projecting everything and this shit all this light all this universe and everything in it the sun moon and star black hole and shit from a fuck from your brain that's covered in darkness. Neuroscience. Look up these things. Look up the holographic universe and understand the holographic principle and everything I'm talking about. Check. Don't believe this shit I'm saying. Go look. Read it for yourself. You know. Be dedicated and you know, confirming this for yourself first before you just believe what I'm saying. Now I'm absolutely. 100% know and understand and experience everything I'm talking about. This is not something I'm thinking. This is, I'm going to tell you what I know. And I know I'm consciousness. And I am. And I express that. Understand that? So just, you got to keep going, keep going on with this shit. Keep giving these thoughts intensity and momentum. And you only can grow in your own power. Right? Why? Because you power personified. You know what I mean? So like I said, I ain't give everybody away. I gotta give them away. Anybody who way, I gotta give them away. This is what I do. I don't wanna leave nobody. You know what I'm saying? I am the Christ which is to come. Exactly. You know what I mean? This is what I, I can't help but express this shit. And I'm like, I'm it's gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be traveling doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be with my girl, we're gonna make videos about this shit, and it's just gonna grow in power, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm always gonna do this shit. This is what I'm here to do. I don't know nothing else. I don't need um you know what I'm saying? I, I really don't need no no art or motivation or no you know, inspiration to do this shit. This is natural. This shit is what it's all about. This is about taking everything that, you know, Panic, Phil, Bobby Hammond, um, Dr. Doom, Thanos, uh, you know what I'm saying? Anything the motherfuckers are talking about, y'all be like, wait a minute, Dr. Doom, he a fictional character. Bobby Hammond, he, he real character. All this shit is experience. All of this shit is what you say it is. And Bobby Hammond and motherfucking Dr. Doom exist in the same place. Your subconscious mind as an idea, as an archetype. Right now. They, ex- they, they exist in the same place. Now, I don't differentiate between a Bobby Hammond and me being able to contact him or being able to contact motherfucking Dr. Doom. They, they exist in the same place to me. And they all comprise of my experience. And I'm conscious of that. Understand that? So, like I said, just... Um, having a level of excitement of being consciousness and, and being conscious changes the game. You know what I'm saying? That it makes it brings a lot of um. It only can bring more joyous experiences for you to not only experience in the moment, but for you to connect with others 
on the path and being able to express your level of enjoyment and, and, and passion for it. And they see that they're going to be inspired by that. They're either going to be inspired by that and motivated or you're going to bring up, you're going to bring out the insecurities in them. In the past, we knew, we've known that as being able to, um, um, you know what I'm saying? They call that exercising demons, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's all different forms of ways and expression in different areas. Well, right now you can look at that as being able to draw up people's insecurities about themselves, which is a mere reflection of how they truly feel about themselves or how they see themselves projected out and being able to interface with your level of consciousness. And if it's on some mad shit like I'm on, you're either going to bring out the insecurities in them, which will manifest them talking shit about you, stabbing you in the back or most leaving them bullshit comments or thought forms that they're going to try to use to really try to, you know, that crab in a barrel mentality, try to bring you down on the frequency level where you're not consciously aware anymore, where you, you know what I'm saying? You fall in victim to what they're doing. And it's a, and it's basically, you know what I'm saying? A, a system that's designed, you know what I'm saying? To respond out of fear, to, to identify you as a threat to their existence, to their identification. And they have to respond accordingly based on this programming that they're under to attack you in any way, shape or form to try to bring you down, so to speak. So don't understand those challenges may come up. You may see people respond to you in a, in a negative light. You know what I'm saying? saying? You got to know that. Or, or they're going to respond to you and be inspired and be motivated to take what you're saying and add that to their own repertoire of being conscious and, and, and you know what I'm saying, do their thing. This is how we all win, so to speak. You know what I mean? So they're going to go in there within their environment. Now they're going to be better off from the conversation that you had and the energy that y'all both shared. And y'all going to go y'all separate way. But at the end of the day, Y'all all merged. They're all the same, really the same energy as consciousness. So that's why I say I always see yourself as everything around you and everyone around you. And you will treat others the way you will want to be treated. God, the only motherfucker you're treating, the only person that you're seeing or experiencing is you. Basically, you know what I'm saying? So that's just another, um, you are the motivator. Like I said, that go right back to you. That's what I'm saying. You are this motivation. You are this inspiration. That's, that's, that's the driving force in everything that you're doing. Um, I'm about to get off of here in a minute. Y'all know I can keep talking. I can. I don't want to turn this shit into a four, five hour goddamn. Uh, I don't know. Me just talking to shit. Can, you know, I sit here and there's all kind of other shit I can tell y'all. Honestly, I can just keep going. Like, again, I'm gonna let me get two, three minutes more of this shit. Like how I set up everything around me. Okay, I'm, when you're in the art state of awareness, consciousness, right? Where you might right now, you might not be, you can be in your house, in your room, and you might not be consciously aware of just every fucking thing, everything in your environment, how you set it up. When you're in an altered state of consciousness, when you're like on 33 hertz, you will know and have an understanding of every fucking angle of a box that you may have on the fucking floor, a paper that you have on the table. You will know why it's there. You will know what it's for. And it'll speak, it's going to be speaking to your spirit. Like, oh, this is why I set this shit up like this? Man, what the fuck? And this is going to be more testament to your own power of how, just how much in control of your reality that you are. You might not be consciously aware of this shit. That's why I, can say, that's why I always say, keep pushing the envelope on your perception and your level of awareness. But know and understand that when you do this, you will feel, I get the feeling of people feeling like, like they're isolating, that they're alone. And that you know everybody around them is not gonna they're not gonna be able to be on your level. But no one understand that anywhere you at, you're in control of that environment and the people in it. You're in control of them. Honestly, you are. Be mindful of that and be um, don't abuse that power. You know, you don't want to do that. And um, oh shit, another thing that I highly recommend anybody do is um. Investigate, you know, look into the concepts of uh, gematria, which is something that I, I use. Um, any form of new um, and cutting edge technology, science, you know, artificial super intelligence, uh, general intelligence, um, all of that. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I, that's a part of uh, a lot of the information that I uh, really. Um, Weaponized, I internalized, knowing the cutting edge of technology, and I identify with being technology, and I identify with being in the age of Aquarius. I'm like, I add that. I love it. You see what I'm saying? I put my emotion in it, and I love learning about other ways of expressing energy, right? Information. And I add them to my 
everything that I'm doing and I make it practical and I bring it to you to, for you to utilize in your own work and your own, you know what I'm saying, your own journey. And, and you know what I'm saying? I'm not selling you shit, but the power that you, everything that you can be this and accomplish this. You know what I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Like, like I said, I've always known this about me, about myself. Uh, I know it sounds crazy. It does. I get it. Um, I also know that I was going to be looked. And I accept it. Right? I accept the... Because um, <laughs> I can explain it. I love when I'm questioned. I would love to be able to sit down and have a bunch of cameras and fucking microphones in front of me. I can explain what it is that you are. And I will explain it. Like, I'm the Christ. I represent the title. I represent the frequency. I represent the state of consciousness that I'm here to provide or anchor within the collective consciousness of the planet for you to have an opportunity for you to be not only to know that you are God, but for now to have the fucking person here to tell you not only that you are God, but now I'm giving you the the codes, the downloads, the light codes, whatever you want to call it, for you from providing it for each and every one who on the frequency to act upon this now, instead of just pondering it and, and believing it now, I'm showing you the practical ways of acting upon this to be that, and that's something that's going to be met with heavy resistance. It's going to be met with death threats, like I've already been under. It's going to be met with condemnation, ridicule. I'm going to be looked at as a threat. I'm going to be attacked, so to speak, like I'm a like, um, I'm a virus in a body and all the white blood cells come going to come rushing towards me to try to, you know what I'm saying, whatever blood cell it is, white or red, that's going to see me as a threat to be wiped the fuck out. We can't have this. So the sentient world simulation, that will try, if I wasn't consciously aware of how this system works, it'll, you know what I'm saying, it'll, it'll, it'll be out of my control, but I'm in control of it. And I know what I'm experiencing. And I know the challenges I'm going to present for myself by finessing or manipulating the central world simulation through each and every one of the individuals that will have an idea looking at me as a threat or have an idea of being insecure, seeing me as somebody that's bringing some new form of information. They may get jealous. They may be like, why the fuck I ain't think it is? And he, he actually saying this and doing some shit I always wanted to do. Fuck this nigga. I wanted to. I know each and every one of those individuals will fall victim, but they are under the, they're under the, they're under, still under the control of the essential world simulation, the matrix, so to speak. So they're plugged in. But those are circumstances, battle scenarios, or simulations that I play out within my mind and every given moment of every day as well to come up with, you know what I'm saying, to be proactive in my approach and being able to express myself. And I know the power of my spoken word is an absolute threat to this sentient world simulation and this operation and how it controls everybody's state of consciousness. You see what I'm saying? I get it. So I'm going to be looked at as a person to, you know what I'm saying, wipe out, check out, or whatever. And I I welcome it with open arms. You see what I'm saying? Not nothing to run from. It's something knowing and understanding how the paradigm shift that I represent and that we're in and knowing the power of my words and being able to, you know what I'm saying, wake up Lazarus, you know what I'm saying, Lazarus bones when raising up the dead, so to speak. When I, when I say that, I look at myself as being able to raise up your energy within you that may exist within your, your first three chakras. I'm raising that shit up to the heart and I'm bringing out the spirit. My spirit within you got to be expressed through the purity of your heart. So I'm raising up myself through you. So don't resist that. So you need to reconcile your ego. You need to t let Jesus take the will. It's time for you, the inner Christ within you, to take the will and control control of your experience and your existence. This is how you wake up, but you can use me as being a, a, a symbol of that. You know what I'm saying? As being somebody that's here to, you know what I'm saying, amplify this level of consciousness. You understand what I'm saying? It's a super consciousness. The Christ consciousness, right? So if I go somewhere and I got my locks down, I got a nice ass shape up and I put on like a white robe or something, and people say, nigga, see me, what you think they're going to see me? But then they hear me when I'm saying this, so it's going to go, wait a minute. Could this be for real? Like, could this be possible? Like, this motherfucker making sense. And I'm not telling you to believe me. I'm be like, no, I'm not telling you to believe me. Look this shit up. Look at what I'm talking about. Look at what a dedicated person what they will experience if you can train your brain and go through brain synchronization, brain and training and heart coherence and heart synchronization and shit like that over a prolonged period of time, what will what what would that level of consciousness, what would they sound like if they were to do this? What gonna sound like this? Why? Because I've accomplished this. This is what I've done. And I'm just continuously doing it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's gonna be looked at as 
Like, man, wait a minute. This could this be real? Because so they're gonna amp up. <laughs> so the way that they'll try to counteract that, they're gonna ramp up the mind control. They're gonna present to you any form of distraction that would be tailor made for each and every one of you individually to get you to not, you know what I'm saying? Even try to absorb any of the information that I'm talking about. Hence the reason why, you know what I'm saying, why a lot of, uh, you know what I'm saying, why a lot of uh, people around you that's not on this frequency, they're going to be, you know what I'm saying, they're going to see you as a threat and they're going to try to bring you down, so to speak, in any way, shape, or form. And that's what you want to see. That's that's only testament to your power. So when you see that happen, you're like, aha, I get why you responded to me like that. Like, do more. You only can become more self-aware, more conscious when you're being attacked, is what I'm saying. This is how you can weaponize and internalize the attention and the threats that is going to be presented to your way. And look forward to seeing it, right? Steel sharp and steel, right? So that's what you need, that pressure. Why? Because you're a diamond. And pressure makes diamonds. It's not going to bust a pipe no more. That's that's old news. Not the pressure that you, the tension that's, that only can be presented from, to you, that you self-creating, that you're constantly aware of, can only produce you as a diamond. And that only can make you strong, so to speak. Because you're aware of it. And not only are you aware of it, you're proactive. So now you're in control of the way that this energy will be expressed in each and every one of the individuals around you who are not conducive to your level of frequency, your, to your way of being. So they're going to see you as a threat because you want them to see you as a threat. And you're going to use that and the way they observe you, the way they collapse you into their existence as a way of weaponizing and internalizing yourself. This is how you win. This is how you can become impeccable and you don't even need to raise up your hand or hurt nobody or to even do anything in any way, shape, or form. You would just be a threat just breathing. You would be an existential crisis because of the frequency emission of your brain waves in connection with your DNA, being able to express yourself from the purity of your heart. And you will be a walking infinity gauntlet. You won't even have to do anything because you all you have to do is just be. Oh, that's it. And that will be, and that's a threat. You see what I'm saying? So like I said, I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep going on about this shit. I wanted to say this too. No, a lot of y'all been getting them. Um, this off topic. Uh. Like, you know, like Instagram, uh, what's that shit called? You know, them little things about like, um, not Bitcoin, but like cash app motherfuckers trying to get at you and get you the, the verification on that shit. Like, uh, that pay that shit no mind. The only thing y'all should be paying attention to really is creative ways for you to express your subconsciously and growing your power. Honestly, that's where my mind, that's where it always been on my mind. Um. No, I just got a text message. Hello, would you like would you like on getting verified as a professional influencer on Instagram today? Well, I need to know who sent me that. Cause I know that I'm gonna be doing this. You know what I'm saying? I know that this is gonna be my life. You know, I'm I'm passionate about this shit, but you know, I'm dead ass serious about it. You understand that? And I know that what I talk about is necessary, is needed, is is vital, is profound, and it's something that you know I know y'all appreciate this shit, but I'm only gonna grow on more and more power when it comes to this. I know my influence. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to. Um. I don't need. I don't need more levels of power. I am power. I don't need like. I don't need people. Um. You know what I'm saying? If it was somebody don't like or share this shit, like share it with the purest intentions on like, you knowing that. Um, you know, like I said, I make this this information is free. You know what I mean? I'm, what I'm saying is, have your intention pure with everything that you do. You know what I'm saying? You choose to share this shit, share it with the intention on you. You know what I'm saying? You spread and taking. You know what I'm saying? Put a put. I would say this. Tell any motherfucker that hear this, and I mean this. Don't believe what I'm saying. Like. Open your mind, have a have a way of, you know what I'm saying, broaden your horizons and have an open mind about, you know what I'm saying, something totally, maybe something new, something different, a new mindset, and just, you know, be open-minded. Take some of the, the things I say, researching for yourselves, be dedicated in researching them instead of just believing what I'm saying, just verbatim, just know, you know, research this shit, look it up. 
Look up Dr. Persinger. Look up neuroscience. Look up, you know what I'm saying? No more secrets. Optogenetics. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The things I bring up. Look, research these things. You see for yourself and what I'm talking about. But in regards to, you know what I'm saying? What I highly recommend anyone really do for themselves and understand the concept of neuroplasticity, brain entrainment, heart coherence, and brain synchronization. Those four um, practical methodologies and ways that you can self-improve yourself right, consciously where you're doing this on purpose to stay and elevate yourself within the foundation of being in the altered state of consciousness. That's what I'm talking about. Like all the time. And you do that with dedication and, and, and intent. You only can you only can sub actualize yourself as everything, as a universe, as consciousness. Right? Where you you can't look outside of yourself and see separation anymore. You can see yourself as everything. You will be able to relate to yourself on a whole deeper level as consciousness. You would just it just happen to you, and it only can grow with more 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 momentum and intensity as you be. There's no turning it off. There's no turning it off. There's no going back. You ain't in Kansas no more with this shit. I'm gonna say that again. You know what I'm saying? So. Let me get my, let me see. That's it, man. I'm, let me get my, uh, like, who not, who, who, who not excited about this? Like, I don't give a fuck if they ready or not. You know that, my nigga. It don't matter. It don't really matter if anybody ready or not about this shit. This is here. I'm here. And I know that all I need, all I need is one mic, so to speak. I'm doing this shit in the basement in front of my altar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, like, say, for example, if I create this as a, as a reality within my mind, I saw myself on Breakfast Club talking this shit. I have seen myself talk to, you know what I'm saying, Charlemagne and, and, and Ye and uh, Envy, and, you know, because I love music. I haven't even added that a part of it. I haven't even, you know, I know I love music. And, um, and that's just another way I express myself, being a fan of music. And, and understanding the importance of sound and frequency in relation to spoken word. But like I'm sitting down talking to them, I want to be met with you know, suspicion. I you should be very um suspicious and uh critical and uh skeptical of the shit I'm talking about. You should be. You should don't just take this shit as oh, this is what I wait now. No way this. You need to weigh, you need to let your spirit weigh this, man. I'm telling you, you're going to come to the realization what I'm saying is some, this is the real fucking deal. You will, but be skeptical first. Weigh it. Don't just, I don't need you to believe shit. I need you to take what I'm saying, chew the meat, spit out the bones, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? If I'm saying, if I'm presenting some information for you that you see that's vital, that's important, take it. If the shit I'm saying that you may not have a experience with, don't take this as your experience. I'm telling you, I'm expressing it for mine. I'm telling you that you can have this power. You can it's available to you. But you may need to go to the necessary steps for you to confirm it for yourself. And that's vital. That's for you. That's awesome. That's what you're gonna want to do. So you're not gonna want to just believe every fucking thing that I'm telling you. But you should believe that I believe this shit because I absolutely do. And I experienced it. But experience is your best teacher. And once you go to experience it in yourself, that's when you meet me on the other side. Like, my nigga, I get it. I see what you are. I see you. Namaste. And it'd be the vice versa. We keep it moving. But so I like I see myself sitting next to Charlemagne. I'm talking this shit. I want to be met. Like I know and understand the um Viacom and all of this shit run by the Ashkenazi Jews and they see, you know, and me talking about how this is a sentient world simulation and this is all, you know, a video game and they ask me questions and shit. I know how I was gonna be met. They're gonna wanna look up my past record. They're gonna try to look up anything to try to, you know, man, he was this, he was that. I'm I'm looking forward to the counterintelligence that'll come up from from other black people talking about this shit. Man, what the fuck are you talking about? He married to a white woman, but this is don't fuck with him. Like this is they're gonna come up with all that shit. They're gonna resist it. I'm bringing that out. This is how the sentient world simulation will use its agents and sentinels to attack this new foreign or alien state of consciousness or it has to try to attack it in any, any way, shape, or form by getting to try to shape and mold your perception your, and, and influencing your perception and how you see me and how you relate to me and my level of consciousness. That's what it's going to do. It's going to try to get you like that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know what I'm saying? So I see myself sitting down with them talking about this and it's funny. I can get them, you know what I'm saying? Get them, and I can break it down to it on, on, a, on a simple level 
where I can get on some super deep ass shit. I explain that in relation to like psychedelic state of state of consciousness, brainwave emissions, and when it comes to the targeted individuals, when it comes to gang stalking, remote to score technology, and they may hear that on there. I'm like, what are you talking about? I can just say Google it and look up the different how the government and NSA and use that uh, like the surveillance program, how it's been targeting like portions of of humanity all over the planet. When it comes to specific people having brainwave emissions, how they looked at as, um, you know what I'm saying, threats or targets, and, you know, I'll go from there. So it's all validated. It's all, any, it's open source. I mean, it's open, Um, you know, the open information. This is a lot of the information that I talk about was confirmed by Eric Snowden, um, Julian Assange, a lot of different whistleblowers when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, the um, top secret government officials and shit like that, whistleblowers and, you know what I'm saying, the Patriot Act. You know what I'm saying? The creation of um what's the um Department of Defense and, and all of that old type of shit. The Monroe Institute, the CIA, how they confirmed everything with this is a whole holographic universe and in conjunction with how the um you know what I'm saying, the frequency emission of the law of attraction being eight point three hertz alpha range and they know all about this shit. But I can tell anybody this, whether it's a person on the street or if I'm sitting in front of a camera talking to millions of people, it matters not. But the, the information is we're going it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be uh presented in a way where you're gonna come away with it may be blown away, but not only that, but you may come away, you're going to come away with it knowing that the responsibility is on you to activate upon this, on your inner power. It's not me having the power, it's you rep- hearing somebody self-actualize themselves, for them to actually manifest in this within their own self-realization, and they experiencing this, but you have the ability to do it, and now's the time to do it. And that is absolute threat to the way this sentient world simulation will have you operate. Just now you're unplugging yourself from this system and it's hell bent on needing you to be the manufacturer of the reality that it wants to finesse you to create for itself holographically through your brain remember i'm gonna say it again your brain is open mind to take the open source to technology and it has no firewall you know so i'll keep that shit in mind um i better get out of here before it cut off let me see Yeah, most definitely I see myself in the studio workers. Uh, like, when these motherfuckers, like, start doing concerts and shit, you have any idea? I'll be a hype man. I just want to be on stage with them. Honestly, I'll just, if it's one person I want to be on stage with first before it's Gazelle, it's Rock Marciano. I know all his music. And I just want to just, like, he's my favorite rapper ever. So I just want to, like, honestly, I get excited about that. Yeah, I mean, you fucking idea what I do at a concert or some shit. Man, don't get me started, man. You got no idea, like, when it comes to like public speaking and being on the stage in front of one person or a thousand people, that's that's like putting on the glove to me. But if I'm talking about some shit like this, man, what? Man, don't get me started, man. But yeah, I definitely, I've had dreams about that shit for years. It used to be Wu-Tang. I've been, you know what I'm saying? But like, nah, it's like, it'll be Grizzell and it'll definitely be Rock Marciano for damn show. So I see myself when I like fantasize that. I've been created that. I've seen that. I'm, man, I've done that. So many times where I know that's going to happen. Like, so you just confirmed it, which I ain't need your confirmation, but my nigga, thank you for saying that. But yeah, I don't know. I get too excited talking about that shit. I see myself, I see my, I see action figures being made out of me. I mean, come on, who want to make an action for them? I see myself, I'll be like, nigga, why y'all got a fucking Matthew McConaughey Jesus piece when I'm looking at him right now? Why wouldn't you model yourself after me? And I can be like, motherfucker, I should charge your ass for fucking defamation of character having me looking at some white motherfucker on your chest. Nigga, I want my, nigga, I should sue motherfuckers when it comes to this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think thinking about that type of shit. I'm not saying that I'll do it, but just having that as a joke, you know what I mean? Because, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers don't know that I'm a frequency. And the title of Christ constitutes me embodying the frequency, embodying a specific level of consciousness, you know. And within Eastern Eastern traditions, traditional um, spiritual teaching, they constitute the Christ consciousness as being at 33 hertz. But it's a state of consciousness. That's what it is. And it takes one to really have that as a seed of potential. And for you to water that seed with intent, with, the, with, with um, you know what I'm saying, inner drive to do it and to sprout this this is what happens when you sprout it this is what happens when you um activate this potential and each and every one of you that's conscious has this as an opportunity to do as well and it honestly don't cost you much it don't cost you a lot it 
not nothing financially. You have to want to do this, right? And once you do it, you can't turn it off. So that's just what it is. Um, like I said, let me see. Um, facts. Let me see. Right. Be suspicious, and at the same time, you know what you know, so you will know to research and validate for yourself exactly. Through experience, we vibrate to the same frequency, and everyone ain't the same either, so clicks I never met in the face with us, so choose to walk my own path and power. Exactly. Um, this is a connection that we have programmed to occur. Right. I want to say that again. Like, any of this shit I'm doing, anything I'm talking about, y'all brought me here. Y'all really collectively... You know, that's what I'm saying. This shit I'm talking about, y'all brought into existence. You understand that? So, I know deep down y'all have a, y'all y'all have a drive to man. Some something gotta break through with this shit. Like something new gotta be here. Like, and a lot of y'all talking about new concepts. And a lot of y'all living new out, living out your expressions, new experiences, and all that shit that y'all been doing. Everything that anybody's been doing when it comes to, um the progression and expansion of consciousness itself and spirituality and being able to hear somebody speak this shit has led to the manifestation of me being here. So it's a responsibility that I hold and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for, for bringing me here, honestly. I'm not just talking about the people that's on here listening to me. And I'm talking about anybody that's conscious, period. This is what this is what this year has, has made manifest. This year has been a year of revelation and I knew it. And I and and once like I don't know, man. This this year has been we all know it's been and it, it affects us all differently, but like um I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've been waiting to rear my head for me to speak on this. For me to Fully being in a, in a position where I can express myself, like, truthfully for the first time. Not hold shit back. I don't hold anything back no more. I can let my heart pour out itself. I'm the water bearer. And I'm pouring out water, right? What is water? So you can look at me, symbolically me pouring out water. As a water bearer, is me pouring out information. Me being able to express my spirit from the purity of my heart. And that's what I do this for. That's what drives me. That's the motivation every day for me to for me to do this. Um. All right, man. Let me get the fuck off of here, man. Because y'all know I can keep going. I've been talking for almost two hours. You know? <laughs> if I if man if I stay on here, I can keep coming up with things to tell you and different um. You know, you know how I can do. So let me let me just go. I'm, I read the last little comment and shit. Like I said, I want to thank every one of y'all on here. I'm gonna um. Like I said, I appreciate this shit. And just um, know and understand something. That all power exists within you first. It's not something... What up, my nigga, Triumph? So it's not something that I'm giving to you. I don't have to give you anything when you're power personified. All I'm doing is, is, is being an example for you to realize this and for you to self-actualize this within yourself, for you to act upon this. So I'm going to always be the driving force for you to act upon this. You already know it. It's past time knowing it. It's for you to act upon it with excitement, with, with, um, cuz I want to get off because I know I, I need to be doing. I want to go up there and play with my kids and shit. Honestly, I got my kids upstairs. They probably waiting on me and shit. You know, they playing with their little tablets. I want to, you know, I want to fucking enjoy my day not just doing this. I want to, you know, do some other shit. I'm going to put my brain in default mode and allow my subconscious mind to filter through my subconscious mind for any negative thought forms that may entertain with I'm to, to, you know what I'm saying? To self-improve. You know, because I can keep doing this all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck I want to get off. You know what I mean? So, I'm about to go do that. So, I want to thank everybody on here, man. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Power, prosperity, and peace right back off to you. You know what I'm saying? I'll be getting back at y'all in a little bit. Peace. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here.